A warm welcome to you this morning on this eve of Pentecost. One month ago we celebrated the feast day of Saint George, the patron saint of England. And today we're going to keep the feast day of Joan of Arc, who is one of the patron saints of France. France apparently has four patron saints, Saint Denis of Paris, Saint Genevieve, Joan of Arc, and there's one other who I don't know who's, who it is, uh, although uh, people watching this uh, service uh, may be able to enlighten me later. Joan was a daughter of a peasant farmer born in 1412. At age 14, she heard voices of saints telling her to save France, which was caught up in the Hundred Years' War with England. Though at first she was dismissed, her credibility increased when some of her predictions were seen to come true. She managed to identify the disguised Dauphin, later to become King Charles VII, whose approval she gained. She persuaded troops to be set to relieve Orléans and rode at their head wearing white armour. They were successful in battle, which increased the morale of the army and enhanced the reputation of Joan. When the Dauphin was crowned king at Reims, she stood at his side, but her voices had warned her that her life would be short. After some failures in battle, she lost favour and she was eventually sold by the Duke of Burgundy to the English, tried in a court for heresy by the Bishop of Beauvais, and eventually burned at the stake on this day in 1431. She was aged just 19. One of the accusations brought against her at her trial was that she wore men's clothes. She did that, of course, in order to avoid being raped, which she was threatened with during her imprisonment. At her trial, she was asked a trick question. It was considered heresy for anyone to claim that they were sure of God's grace. On the other hand, if she had said she wasn't sure she was in God's grace, she would have admitted her voices were fake. But when asked if she was in God's grace, she astounded the court by saying, if I am not, may God put me there, and if I am, may God so keep me. Twenty-five years later, the Pope formally declared her innocent, and she was made second patron of France after her canonisation in 1920. She didn't succeed in ending the Hundred Years' War. Her personal heroism and in particular the manner of her death, rather than her political and military achievements, has been a source of inspiration to later generations. Her demeanour at the stake moved even her bitter enemies to tears. Would that my soul were where the soul of that woman is, exclaimed one. And the secretary of the King of England left the scene saying, we are all lost because we have burnt a saint. Faced with the prospect of her death, she said, I am not afraid, I was born for this. I would rather die than to do something which I know to be a sin or to be against God's will. And then another couple of lovely quotes from her. Get up tomorrow early in the morning and earlier than you did today and do the best you can. And another, act, and God will act. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you 
and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you have chosen St Joan of Arc to defend her country against the invading enemy. Through her intercession, grants that we may work for justice and live in peace. We pray through Jesus Christ, your Son, living and reigning with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. We prove we are servants of God by great fortitude in times of suffering, in times of hardship and distress, when we are flogged or sent to prison or mobbed, labouring, sleepless, starving. We prove we are God's servants by our purity, knowledge, patience and kindness, by a spirit of holiness, by a love free from affectation, by the word of truth and by the power of God, by being armed with the weapons of righteousness in the right hand and in the left, prepared for honour or disgrace, for blame or praise, taken for impostors while we are genuine, obscure yet famous, said to be dying and here we are alive, rumoured to be executed before we are sentenced, thought most miserable and yet we are always rejoicing, taken for paupers though we make others rich, for people having nothing though we have everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be God, a gentle Father, and the God of all consolation, who comforts us in all our sorrows. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, Keep those you have given me true to your name, so that they may be one like us. While I was with them, I kept those you had given me true to your name. I have watched over them, and not one is lost, except the one who chose to be lost, and this was to fulfil the scriptures. And now I am coming to you, and while still in the world I say these things, to share my joy with them to the full. I passed your word on to them, and the world hated them, because they belong to the world no more than I belong to the world. I am not asking you to remove them from the world, but to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world, and for their sake I consecrate myself, so that they too may be consecrated in truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray for the Church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. 
we pray for the church, the people of God throughout the world. We pray for our bishops and the clergy and congregations of our Church of England and for God's blessing upon all the Christian churches in this country. We pray for our Queen and for her government. On this feast day of St. Joan of Arc, we pray for the people, president and government of France, for the people of France and for the Christian Church in France. We pray for peace and justice within and between all nations. We pray for those who are sick and unwell. Especially we remember Ma Mike Bowen, Carol Sanderson and Matthew Link. For those who have recently departed this life, especially Edna Folds. And for those whose years mind fall at this time, Albert Rampling, May Millward, Margaret Kirk, Henry Loveday and George Rank. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, accept this offering of praise and peace in memory of Joan of Arc. May it bring us your forgiveness and inspire us to give you thanks now and forever. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Your holy martyr Joan followed the example of Christ and gave her life for the glory of your name. Her death reveals your power shining through our human weakness. You choose the weak and make them strong in bearing witness to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. In our unending joy, we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, 
This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once of the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, bringing before you this bread and this cup, we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, Evangelists and Martyrs, St John the Baptist, St Giles and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever, through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, we receive your gifts from heaven at this joyful feast. May we who proclaim at this holy table the death and resurrection of your Son come to share his glory with all your holy martyrs. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. 